All right, it is almost nine o'clock in the morning. I'm in Salmon, Idaho. Just grab some breakfast, gas, water. <sighs> Make my way on the trail. Slightly late start today. I just I just had to get a little bit more sleep after a torturous ride yesterday. <laughs> so supposedly the weather looks good today. So I'm hoping it's gonna stay nice and dry. Don't have any problems there. But we shall see. Alright, here's our turn off. And I think this is supposed to turn to dirt pretty quickly. But, oh, here we go. Yeah. So, today's plan to get from Salmon, Idaho. Um, we're gonna go through Montana uh, towards towards uh, Island Park, Idaho. So that's just outside of West Yellowstone, Yellowstone National Park. Should be a total distance of about 240 miles or so. Um, well, yeah, let's see what happens. As long as it's nice and dry, uh, really looking forward to it. Landscape is something else. Still a little chilly this morning. Where we're at 51, not too bad, but just a tad chilly. But without the rain, I'm sure it's gonna warm up a little bit today. Looking forward to that. It's been been kind of cold for the past few days and wet. Uh. These hills are super interesting. There's all these like layers that you can see. It's like every five feet or so. It's almost like a mini pyramid. I'm not sure why that is, but it's cool. This is some really fun riding here. I'm really enjoying this. Let's see, we're going right. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Ugh. Pretty loose and steep here. So I'm really glad I have the light 701 instead of one of those big adventure bikes. Though you could definitely do it on a big bike. It's just probably a little bit more fun on the lighter bikes. <laughs> There you go. Second there, I didn't know where to go. Um, Alright. Just a little momentum. And it is really gorgeous up here. Uh oh. There is a gate. Ah, she. Let's see what it says. I don't have a good feeling there's a big flag on it or something. Oh no, it is open. Oh, it just looked close from afar. Okay.
Not sure what the flag said, it was kind of washed out. Oh, for a moment there I thought, <laughs> oh we're going to run into more and more close gates, which I get is like part of the trip. Just yesterday that was pretty frustrating. Alright, this is pretty muddy and slippery here, holy sh**. Let's try to stand the grass. It's like a little creek running down here. Okay. A lot of cow turts. Yeah, this area hasn't had time yet to uh, dry out from the past few days worth of rain. <laughs> what a cool area though. Water crossing. It looks like it's really going to open up down there.
beautiful day. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. It's a little chilly, but better than it was earlier. Beautiful landscape, nice ranches. Got chased down by a couple, by, by not a couple, but four or five dogs. It's pretty fun. These roads are definitely much nicer to ride than those wet ones yesterday uh, with those ranches. Oh. It's like driving on marbles, but I'll take that any day over the others. Coming up towards the mountains. Lewis and Clark Backcountry Byway. Okay. Oh, this is Sharky Hot Springs. I actually looked at this place for potential camping, but apparently you're not allowed to camp here. Yeah. But there's an actual hot spring. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I would love to just jump in right now and enjoy it. Oh, sounds amazing. Oh. The occasional washboard to make sure your ass hurts just a little bit. <laughs> Look at that view. It's amazing. What a great place. You know, I'm really, really liking and enjoying Idaho. Such a cool state. 199 miles to go for the day. I'm making pretty decent progress. That's good.
What a beautiful little forest track here. <laughs> I think I finally got into the flow of this trip. We're getting pretty far up there, 7,500 feet. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's freaking steep down the sides. Thousand foot drops, if not more. Man, it is beautiful up here. <laughs> Just look at this view. Pretty freaking steep here. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome! Just being out in the middle of nowhere, Idaho, in the mountains, on a trail that's probably not traveled very much. Everything I need, not necessarily on my bag only, but on my rack too. So, <laughs> how can I get better? Almost 8,500 feet, Ugh. and it's a pretty steep climb the entire way up so far. 
for the past like five, ten minutes. <laughs> oh, that is properly steep. <laughs> Properly rocky. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh man. Ridiculous. Wow. Let's see what the sign says. So this is the official Continental Divide Trail. You can kind of see by those blue signs. Huh. Lehigh Pass. Wow. Basically single track riding <laughs> goes around here somewhat in the mud. So you gotta stay in a skinny little line here, the width of a tire mark of a pickup truck for miles on end. The past 10-15 miles were so muddy I couldn't even turn on the camera because I had to focus so much being in that single track. Oh, that was really slippery. Hopefully, the rest of it gets a little better. Like, this right here is okay. But, oh, I spoke too soon. Here we go again. Oh yeah, this is really muddy. Looks like there's a, a, a bike camper up there too. Bike packer. <laughs> Made it about halfway, twelve thirty. Then 
drone for almost four hours. Not to jinx it, but the mud has stopped for right now. The rows got smaller. Pick up a little bit of speed here. Beautiful, very steep ranch roads. Cold wind blowing my way. But, I mean, it's great. We got a few more miles to make it to the road. There's a gas station somewhere coming up soon. Gonna refuel, see if there's something to eat. And then figure out what we're gonna, which route we're gonna take to Island Park. Uh, hopefully, if it's dry, if it's another hundred miles of wet ranch roads like this, uh, I, I'm gonna try to find a different route. I mean, right now it's not too bad, but earlier it was pretty bad. But you can only go 30 miles an hour tops, and you're constantly hyper focusing. It just wears you out pretty quick. Of course, this last stretch here is turning into real bad much from what it looks like again up there. Oh, shit! This is slippery. Oh, man. This requires so much freaking concentration. I bet you it doesn't look bad in the video, but it's constantly trying to just grab the handlebar and steer it into a rut. And if I go any slower, it honestly it doesn't help if anything, it makes it worse. So you gotta find the right speed to do this and Oh, looks like the entire horizon is full of this stuff. Oh, I was hoping to get away from this today, but here we are. So if you're planning on running the, the Continental Divide, I, I, I know it's hard to plan for weather, but keep that in mind. At least on these sections that are just long ranchos like this, um, find an alternative. It takes so much time and energy to deal with. I mean, unless you enjoy this stuff. For me, it's a little bit of both. I I don't mind it to an extent, but if it puts me into time pressure uh, for uh, things that I really want to see, then I, I don't mind skipping them. My hands and wrists are starting to hurt from all the riding over the past few days. to get some ibuprofen on them or something.
Alright, well, my drone crashed again while flying. Uh, this time much more substantial damage. Uh, I think it's the end of it. Uh, a lot of parts are bent and like out of place. Something loose inside. I'm gonna try to tear it apart at the hotel tonight, but I think there's also just some pieces missing that I cannot replace. So that's a huge bummer. I really wanted to film quite a bit with it, but plus Skydio doesn't make that drone anymore. They went out of the consumer business. It's weird because I, I, I filmed with it a lot. I have never had a single issue. And I've certainly put it in more difficult situations than I have just now. Um, but ever since their latest few updates, it's just gotten worse. So, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I'm disappointed that it's gone. I am in Lima or Lima or however you say it just got some gas uh, we got about 80 miles left to go to Island Park um, it's almost three o'clock so let's see how the roads are but should be okay unless it gets pretty bad uh, once I get to Island Park uh, I'll get checked in I'm gonna see if I can do anything about the drone but I have a very low hope if there's anything that I can do to fix it. Uh, yeah, kind of go from there. Very slippery if you're not careful. It wants to dry out, but it's still pretty wet and slippery in places.
my mud is getting really bad here. I've almost got the wind off a few times already. This is the worst I've seen on this trip so far. It's super deep too. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that was a close call. Oh, this is killing my hands and wrists. And rethink. It is super muddy still. It's just miles upon miles upon miles of this garbage. Oh. Awful to drive. Gonna go in a ditch. At this rate, it's gonna take forever to close out the remaining 55 miles. So it looks like now my tablet navigation isn't working anymore. Um, apparently the charger is not charging the tablet. I cannot see anything super obvious that's wrong with it, but... Who knows? I'm not tearing the electronics apart on the trail unless I absolutely have to. <sighs> so for now, I'll just have to keep going. I'll just focus on the Garmin. So I got two devices, I suppose. If not everything could be going wrong on this trip, that would be appreciated. I might just have to make tomorrow a rest day. One, to get myself some rest, and then two, trying to figure out the various little things that are going on on the bike. The drone and everything else. And giving nature sometimes to dry out uh, the road some more. Ah, have to. Right here in the middle. Hey, right, we're in sand now. Which I think is better. It's wet and slippery, but at least not mud. Something. 34 miles to Island Park. Let's say Red Rock Lakes Wildlife Refuge. Okay. Honestly, yeah, this is better than the farm roads. Not necessarily faster, but easier to. my limit for today. Over a hundred miles of muddy ranch road is just too much. I need to go to the hotel and relax. And we're back. 
back in Idaho. That was our last bit of Montana. And holy crap, did I have a punch in the gut as far as driving goes. Oh. I mean, it's probably all western states, but ours is really tough when they're wet. I know Wyoming sure was too. Yeah, it was really pretty here again. Oh. I'm glad I'm done with this. The first half of today was amazing. Probably my favorite driving so far. The second half was, it was pretty miserable, I'm not gonna lie. That was, that was a hard, hard day. And I am beyond sore and tired, exhausted. The first living soul I've seen in hours, hours, and it's a FedEx <laughs> delivery truck. Oh man. Henry's Lake in front of us. Beautiful scenery. I mean, we're really close to Yellowstone at this point. Island Park isn't the, uh, far away from the west entrance. I'm lucky to have avoided those rain clouds all day. I mean, at least it's raining on me, but everything I was riding has been soaked right before I got there. Well, I've been chasing the clouds. Finally here at the Island Park Lodge. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do next. So I'll give an update at some point. They start out great. Beautiful uh, section that goes around salmon. Um, Took the drone out, filmed it all, it was stunning. And then from there, miles and miles of fast dirt roads alongside ranches until we got to the Lewis and Clark Scenic Byway, which um, I forgot what that mountain range was called now, but it takes you up the steep mountain range um, that you take a little turn off and it turns into two track right alongside the mountain with steep drop offs. It was, it was amazing, uh, it was beautiful, it really, fun kind of challenging in ways it was steep and curvy and it, i just had a blast it was great uh then i dropped back into montana and things changed again uh so from there uh once i got out of that beautiful mountain range a couple of miles of highway then turned into a ranch road it wasn't raining the entire day but it always looked like it was raining in front of me but those ranch roads then turned into mud um and it got worse and worse and worse, so into like a really, really muddy mess. Um, but luckily, that was only 20 miles or so. So slowly worked my way through the mud. Eventually, that ended up in a canyon. Um, I met another biker also soloing the CDT. We chatted for a little bit. Took the drone out, filmed the canyon. And then, I, you know, I've used that drone many times before. Never had any issues with it crashing or almost crashing crashed like on day two and then this time it just took off and flew into a power line like literally it wasn't even supposed to be on that side of the road um but this time it, it got destroyed which that was just a, a real <laughs> depressing moment for me because uh, you know when i do these trips i really want to film them and document them for myself but the drone is such a big part of something that I enjoy and I love this footage. It just looks amazing and yeah, it was, it was gone. There's, I, I looked at it uh, later, like when I got to the hotel and uh, there's just absolutely nothing I, I could do to fix it. it. It's a goner, so I'm gonna have to try to send it in and see if the manufacturer will still fix it. Unfortunately, you don't make that drone or sell that drone anymore. 
But anyways, after that section, um, got into, what was that place called? Um, I forget, it was about 90 miles away from uh, Island Park, Idaho, where I was heading. So from there, you could either take the easy route, which was on street, or you could take uh, ranch roads and like a wildlife area. Uh, but it hasn't rained. I know there could be some mud, um, but I, I took off. The ranch roads were fine for the first 20 miles or so. Few muddy spots, nothing major. Then after 20 miles, it gradually started getting worse to the point where I thought about maybe I should turn around, but then I was already at that point 35 miles in with like 50 miles or 55 miles left to go. So uh, I just kept pushing um, and the mud got worse and worse and worse. And it was 35 miles or so of just shitty mud where I, it just took everything, going 15 miles an hour or so, um, constantly fighting the bike from wanting to fall over, everything being dirty, mud spraying everywhere. In the middle of it, my tablet stopped charging and went out. Um, the the motorcycle charging solution that that company, Triple Tech, has is just garbage. Um, it, it just is. I've had so many issues with charging. and It's a great tablet, but the charging just sucks. But luckily, I had the Garmin left running and... I mean, at this point, all you could do is you just keep going. And um, eventually, 20 miles before Island Park, the ranch roads narrowed into like um, a Red Rocks wildlife area, which was a sandy track. And I was pretty excited about that. Um, initially, it was much better. It was wet, deep sand, but at least it wasn't mud. But after like a mile or so, it started turning. It was like two tracks with, uh, they were like really deep puddles every 15 feet thousands upon thousands of them and you had to go through almost each and every one of them there was a few you could like go on the side but the majority you had to go through and a deep sand that's under water it just tries to grab your front wheel and it was exhausting and that's for 15 more miles just dealing with that uh, so that took another over an hour for going about 15 miles the last five miles was just fast gravel roads. Then when I got into Island Park, uh, all, all I really could do is I couldn't like bother like writing about it or making a video about it. I just kind of crawled into my room and, and just passed out. Um, I I managed to quickly pull up my cell phone and book a second night at a hotel in the same room because I needed rest day. There was no way I could get everything ready look at the drone, look at the tablet charging issues and everything, and then get going early morning again. So I took my first rest day. Um, I only have two safety days built into this trip. Uh, safety day meaning that uh, I got two days in addition to the 14 days I was planning uh, before I have to show be at work again. So uh, ideally I wouldn't want to use any of them, but I already used one after day four, which was really early. I was figuring that maybe Colorado or New Mexico would kick my butt because there's a lot of hard trails there, but oh well, I mean, so be it. The rest day was just me, <laughs> for the most part, being lazy, uh, taking multiple naps, um, getting, uh, looking at a drone. That was immediately, I figured out that was a loss. 